So you want to learn how to play Apex's most dominant tracker. I have some tips and tricks for you in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back to my channel, Warriors. Today I have another Apex Legends video for you, and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to play Bloodhound more effectively in Apex Legends Season 6. If you're new here, be sure to join the Warriors and subscribe so you guys can get all the best tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. Now let's get on to the tips. Quickly, I want to go over Bloodhound's abilities. First, we're going to start with passive, which is called Tracker. Foes leave behind clues for us to find. Onto his tactical eye, the All-Father. Briefly reveals enemies, traps, and clues throughout the structures in front of me. And then last but not least, his ultimate. Transform the, into an ultimate hunter. Enhances your senses, allowing you to see solid tracks and move faster. Knockdowns extend duration. Now with that, let's hop right into the firing range. All right, guys, let's first get into Bloodhound's passive ability, Tracker. Tracker allows Bloodhound to track down enemies, see Apex players, leave behind clues, which tells Bloodhound where enemies are and how long enemies left the tracks are behind. You're going to see this a little bit later in the gameplay. You can't do it in the firing range, but let's say I was chasing down a team. It would highlight footprints or jumps, mantles, slide jumps, anything like that, and it would have a timer at the bottom showing how long ago that that actually happened a great way that this tactical or passive ability is so good is because you can sh what we call shadowing teams if we're rolling up on a team and we're just like oh there's they were here 50 seconds ago i can continue to follow these tracks up to one minute and we can shadow a team what this does is allows your team to have great positioning when rotating which is what apex is all about especially in ranks is all about positioning another great thing when it comes to shadowing would be that you're ready to third party a fight that the team you're shadowing is going to get in so we continue to shadow a team is getting to a fight and now we can third party that fight and take all those sweet juicy kills so those are the two biggest benefits i see to his tracker ability the last one would be if a one person on an enemy team you're fighting is trying to get away and you can continue to follow them and catch them that's what bloodhound does it tracks enemies down so you'll see that later in the gameplay okay now on to bloodhound's <clears throat> tactical or q ability eye of the all father it emits a short burst of energy that reveals any enemies and or traps in the immediate vicinity. So as you guys saw on the screen, it highlighted all three of these dummies, or all two of these dummies because I was on the left-hand uh, palette. Now this ability alone has ca catapulted Bloodhound to being one of the best legends in the game. Now you can use Eye of the Allfather more effectively in Apex, and what I like to use it for is in a few different ways. So as you can see, it scans and lights up all three enemies, highlights them for about four seconds and if they were moving it would tell you exactly where they were moving to during that four seconds okay so one of the ways is it catches all of them but the biggest thing with the bloodhound scan guys is that it only emits from where you're looking so it, as i'm looking that way it allows me to see all three but if i'm not looking this direction i'm not going to be able to scan all three of them at the same time so if there's any, any enemies in the vicinity and I'm not scanning the direction that they would be at, I'm not going to catch them. So let's see. One more second. We're going to scan this way, right? I didn't have any of these guys. It only emits almost a 180 degree cone. It's almost 180 cone from exactly where you're looking. Okay, no, no shorter, like no 360 degrees to where I could scan and then do a 360 look and be able to see everybody. So that's the biggest negative about it but it still allows you to be able to scan a very wide area and everything that's inside that area guys also when using the eye of the all father remember that all the information that you're getting is great and that that scan gives your position away but don't be shy when you're about to fight or you're going up towards a building or anything like that to use it it is going to tell you that uh, the enemy is going to know which direction you're scanning from but that's where you have that four seconds to know where they're going and you're not going to allow yourself to reposition. Always, always, always do not be afraid to use the scan and give away your position right before you're going to get into a fight. So a few of the ways that I like to use Bloodhound scan, guys, 
is going to be in a building. When we're approaching buildings or anything like that, I like to use the scan, especially if it's a new area that we're rotating into. It allows me just to know that my teammates in and I are going to be safe. The biggest reason for this is because we could be coming into an ambush. It prevents an ambush. It allows us to reposition if a team is in there or, you know, hiding somewhere, especially with traps, caustic traps, especially, guys. But outside of that, like using the scan when you're coming up to buildings that you're not familiar with is a great way to make sure your team doesn't get caught off guard. Second is using the Eye of the Allfather constantly when I'm fighting. You're going to see this, guys, in the gameplay later, but I constantly use my Eye of the Allfather, especially when I'm in combat. Every second that I get and every time that I notice that my timer is up, especially when I have a gold helmet on, I like to use it because sometimes these fights can take a while. Sometimes they can. So my scan's up. Boom. Scan them again. Oh, now we know where they're at. And we continue to fight. You always want to be scanning as much as possible when you're in a fight. At that point, the team is already going to know where you guys are at. So it's it doesn't benefit you to not use the scan as much as possible. Your team is going to have the most information. And what this does is it allows you to know like if certain players are knocked, if your team's down, what level players try to run to and hide in. Anything like that, guys, are going to be able to tell exactly where they are. Another way that I love to use Bloodhound Scan is right after a fight. So let's say we're fighting this dummy here, guys, and we just finished this team fight. Right? We not. Uh, that's the last guy I just finished. We were fighting that way. We came from this way into this fight. So now I want to do is I finish this guy, right? I finished him, and now I want to scan a different direction. All right, so now I would know that two hostiles are coming from this way as opposed to not knowing that somebody was coming. What this does is it helps you guys prevent against third parties, let you know if teammate, you know, if enemies are coming in, and it allows you to give give yourself and your team time to loot. So let's say I finish looting this, hitting this guy, and then I scan. Okay, we don't have anybody. We came from this direction, so let's loot for just a quick second. And then as soon as my scan is up again, I know that I scan this way and we're okay. We came from this way, so I'm assuming it's safe. So the only place that is unknown would be this direction. So as soon as my scan is up after we're looting, I'm going to scan that opposite direction that we did not cover. So I'm going to scan this way. Oh, we got two hostiles coming in trying to third party us. So let's get ready to fight. And communicating that information to your team is vital to survival in Apex Legends. Also, guys, remember to do the scan before you start looting. If you have a second just to armor swap or anything like that, feel free to do it before you start looting or after you start looting. But you should always try to scan right before you start looting to give your time that window to be able to loot, guys. And last but not least when it comes to using Bloodhound scanned in Apex is towards the end game. His tactical ability allows you to gather up so much information. So let's say the circle is going to be ending right down in here, right? Right in this little valley. My team is positioned here, right? The biggest thing when it comes to using his scan is, at this point, the circle is so small that everybody is going to have a generalized position of where you are. Like, they should know where teams are. So even though you're scanning to give away your team's position, when the circle is so small, they're going to know. So what I like to do is, if we're on the edge of the zone, right, and, and we're facing this direction, I want to be scanning each direction and try to gather up as much information as I possibly can before our team makes our next move. This allows you and your team to strategize your next play, maybe take on a fight when there's a duo or maybe there, there's a rat that's trying to hide somewhere. This allows your team to strategize your next move and figure out where the next best position is. So we scan to the left. Oh, okay, so we got one guy down here. There's nobody to my right and we're on the back end of the zone. So I know nobody's behind us. So we got nobody to our right and one team to our left. So we could probably rotate to the right, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold and just try to scan the last direction, which is just straight Ahead Let's this way. This way. Once we've seen all the information, then we make our decision. Okay, so I'm gonna scan again. Okay, so now I know there's more people. So there's people in front, people to the left, and nothing over to the right. So then your team can strategize to go the opposite way. There's nothing wrong with using that scan constantly, especially towards end game. You're gonna be in a position where you really, really need it, guys. So using his scan all the time is vital to your team's success. Now on to Bloodhound's ultimate. One of the best ultimates and individual ultimates in the game, which is Beast of the Hunt. 
okay this beast of the hunt mode channels bloodhounds inner senses and everything turns grayscale aside from enemies and any clues which are highlighted bright red you can spot enemies from far away and you can uh use the ultimate which allows you to move at a much faster pace so you can see enemies a lot easier so as you guys see there's a timer right you can see all the enemies are in red if i come down and try to fight right let's see if it extends it if i kill the bot okay normally whenever you get a a kill in beast of the hunt it extends the timer by five or 15 seconds 15 seconds i believe it extends the timer so you can keep doing beast of the hunt but look how much faster i'm moving beast of the hunt is one of the best single ultimates in the game okay one of the best ways i like to use the beast of the hunt is gathering information for your team if you have great comms on your team or you're just a good person to communicate with using bloodhounds ultimate to gather up as much information as possible is key telling where you know enemies are at how many are alive how many are down if there's more people and notice this when i go into beast of the hunt i can still use my tactical and continue to scan and then my next scan is only five seconds away so it's only five seconds in between scans and i can keep scanning right and fight so one of the best things is to utilize it for information another big thing is look how fast i'm moving it's like a permanent octane speed boost when you're moving around so this allows you to catch catch up to enemies that are trying to run away another big way i like to use it guys is when i'm trying to run away from you know uh, a team especially if my team got knocked i sometimes use it to run away which is great get out of there reposition and then try to go back into the fight if you can another big way that i like to use his ultimate is to regroup with my teammates so uh me and my team like to drop skyhook a lot and a lot of times if we're unchallenged we loot the entire area and we're pretty separated so if something Trust happens i can get across the map super quick see how fast i run i can just quickly get across the map and regroup with my friends along with regrouping just running away from teams a great way to utilize bloodhounds ultimate because it recharges really fast is getting out of the zone sometimes you can be caught in the zone and you don't want to waste your ult but with the speed boost it's good to use it and just to get out of the zone and heal up and then get ready for your next move okay guys the last thing i want to talk about concerning bloodhound is now that the recon class got a huge buff in season six both crypto and bloodhound can hit the 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 beacons the location beacons on top of buildings it allows you to get that information for the next zone you used to only be able to have be able to get those beacons with pathfinder but now you can get them with bloodhound and crypto so this is a huge advantage for teams that do not like to use pathfinder since he got a huge nerf using bloodhound in its place since he's such a top tier legend now is great for getting that continuous information that bloodhound is so good at getting so make sure to hit those uh those those recon beacons guys all right guys now i can't show everything bloodhound can do in the firing range so let's hop into some gameplay and see how these tips are put to use okay. drop this med kit it's just that I, he melted me down with that thing. Oh, three, three, three guys, three guys, three guys. Three men spot. Cracked, cracked wraith. Oh. I'm phoenixing, I'm phoenixing. They're like in the middle part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm burning one of them, purple armor, almost cracked. Okay, Roger, slow down, slow down, let's get hold of Down bang. Good shit, Roger, good shit. Gibby's in his bubble, running away. I'm pushing it. Calling upon me. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's down. Shit, where is he? She's hurt, she's hurt. All dead, all dead, all dead. Thank you. I got the rest. I will assist you. I fucking won in that shit. Just hit fire with that Debo, dude. Scan again, just in case. Yeah, I did, I did. Care package right. touching down. They usually carry rare platforms. Got a hub up here. Select Dude, there's so much loot back there too on those dead bodies. Hey, hold up. 24 seconds through here. 24 seconds through here. It was probably the right. Okay, they, they went that way. Close, 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 close. They're on your tracks. I see them. They see it. Yeah, look. One's pushing up. One's pushing up close. Scan. Beam him, beam him, beam him. Oh, I'm down. Nice, oh, nice, no, nice. One left, one left. 
Finisher, finisher. Nice. Res me fast. Res me fast. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. And I hope it really does help you guys out and give you some big tips on how to play Bloodhound this season. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like as it really does help me out. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and join the Warriors so you guys don't miss out on all the tips and tricks to improve your Apex Legends gameplay. And as for me, Warlog, as always, guys, stay gaming. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.